What you're about to experience are my opinions and truths. I'm suggesting their possibilities for you to consider, in which you can then come up with your own logical conclusions. And a mighty big welcome to all the fellow decoders out there around the world, wherever you are. My name is Logan, and this is Decode Your Reality. And today we're going to be breaking down and decoding the Sun Devil. This will be the Sun Devil decoder. There's my grand entrance, my grand intro for this Amazing topic and presentation called the Sun Devil Decoded. And folks, I have a jam-packed, gem-filled presentation for all of you. I will be showing all of you what the sun is all about, what the devil's all about. In case you're wondering. And if you're here, then you're wondering. Let's hop right into this. And a big shout out to the great band, The Cults. The song in the beginning called Sun King, off their amazing album, Sonic Temple. And I could have went and decoded this album for this presentation, but as I have so much content, but I wanted to give a big shout out to the Colt and Sun King and all the band members, because song, this song is amazing. But it fits right in with, of course, the Sun Devil. So let's get right into the topics, folks. And I'm going to suggest you throw on a pair of headphones, block out the outside world, Get immersed in this presentation. Don't know how long this one's going to be, but I got a lot of slides, a lot of information. I'm really excited to bring this presentation to all of you. So let's hop into it. In the zero position, always want to include the zero. It's the intro, which I'm going to be showing one slide. I'm breaking down how the Sun King works before we hop into the first topic, which is going to be the soul versus the ego. And what those two mean. Number two, the light bringer. Oh, you betcha. We're going to be bringing some Lucifer into this. Number three, lead to gold. True alchemy and what it means in the esoteric world. Number four, the sun's name. When it comes to the Greeks, it's where the origination of the name sun came from. It's Helios. Helios. Number five. We're going to get into some theology and the sun and shield. And of course, number six, always love to hear what you saw during this presentation. A big shout out to the fear master on DeviantArt.com. This is one part of their rendition of Ra. I included kind of the devil piece in the background, kind of a combination of his art and mine, but a big shout out to the fear master and his great rendition of Ra, the sun god. But it's the sun devil, ladies and gentlemen. And before I get into the presentation itself, the meat and potatoes, I thought maybe this time I would include somewhat of, for those of you that are new, because I do have a lot of new subscribers coming over from the Devil's Playground, Waters Above Crypto, some other ones that I uh, are probably not naming. Those of you that are new, this is the methodology that I utilize during my presentation so you can see how we kind of connect the dots. When we start off, we start off typically with, and this is in no particular order, but we can start off with numerology. Now, typically I don't use this cipher. Some people like to use this cipher, but I'm going to show that it doesn't matter what cipher you use. It will connect and will show the same outcomes 
giving us the same narrative. So obviously that big word that most people like to use on the world stage to pray to, to make their name to with the title of the G-O-D, God, in the English Sumerian, using the numbers six and multiplications of the number six, it's going to be the 156, which is tied to the four faces of God in the original Hebrew spelling. But then we go from numerology to pure math and we get into the prime numbers. And of course, the 156 is the prime to the number 911. So now you know what was tied to that date in September and why it was tied to that. And it goes way beyond what I'm showing you. Then we can bring in the string of pi. And this is more mathematics. And where is that 911 located in the string of pi? Well, it occupies digit number two, which is two means duality, which is what we're all stuck in, but it's the 28 and that's the 911. Then we go right again into numerology and it's linked to the words architect and Lucifer. And I'm gonna be showing with clear and convincing evidence, ladies and gentlemen, that Lucifer is the sun. Make no mistake about it, it is the sun. And of course the sun is an architect because without the sun you got no light without the light you got no photosynthesis you got no life on the planet in a big big way so beyond the numerology and mathematics we then get into another separate layer called alchemy and alchemy is the elements on the periodic table the elements as in the elohim the gods and we are made up of a lot of these elements. And this 28 tied to the 911, tied to the 156, tied to the G-O-D, is this element right here called nickel, which of course means the number five. And nickel, if you study this through the Royal Society of Chemistry, it means devil's copper. And that's where you're gonna get the tie-in between Lucifer and the devil. And then we bring in another layer and another layer and we get the cards of illumination the 52 cards in a typical deck of playing cards 52 cards matching to 52 weeks here's the 28th card the two diamonds lucy in the sky with diamonds and then we bring in another layer the tarot which is a cousin of the cards of illumination and this card is the two of pentacles the pentacles are the diamonds and in the natural lineages with the fool included at the 22nd position the two pentacles is the 66 card tied to we can go to alchemy again dysprosium which means hard to get but it's one short of the 666 of course it is tied to the 666 and the great beast and if you go further and further you'll get some more keys to the kingdom so there is the methodology ladies and gentlemen of how i utilize my decoding and there are more keys than what I'm showing you here now, but this is just a pure, simple way to look at how everything works. So let me start off with more of the intro, because this is the intro. And I wanted to bring in and show you how significant the sun is along with the moon and of course all the other planets, but I would have been here all day just showing this. But here is right now in front of you, the 12 zodiac signs and in the middle of course is earth now i want to be very crystal clear i'm not insinuating the earth is a globe i'm not also insinuating the earth is flat or concave i don't really care about that kind of stuff what i am uh going to clarify is how the sun and the moon affect our cosmic blueprints as human beings and how it runs our reality and why it is the architect and the devil at the same time so <clears throat> when the sun let me show you this here real quick. When this sun moves into one of these zodiac signs, it then starts to narrate its energy. And of course, you'll be born with one of these inside the zodiac signs. People will say, where's your sun sign at? Well, I'm an Aquarius sun, or I'm a Pisces sun, or I'm a Virgo sun. So when you were born, this wheel was spinning. And at the exact moment you came out into this world, this sun fused with that zodiac sign. And now that is the energy you are dealt with. As they say, those are the cards that you were dealt with for the rest of your life. And of course it does change. Of course, you also have to add in your moon. Where was your moon located? You may have a Virgo sun and a Capricorn moon. And those are going to always play out their parts as you play out your part 
here on planet Earth. And it is the sun and the moon who are the bosses of this reality. And of course, there are other bosses as well, but these are the two primaries. And the sun, of course, moves along the ecliptic. And the ecliptic is where the constellations move as well. And they spin in a circle because it's the G and the spiral and all that. And that's why the G is so revered in the Masonic formats. And no, I'm not a Mason for those of you that ask, because many people do. No, I am not a Mason, just so we can be crystal clear on that. All right. So that's a little bit about how this works with the sun devil and how it moves because the constellations they rule over us, the stars and the planets. They rule over us, ladies and gentlemen, and that's the as above. So let's now get into this presentation and the number one position, which is the soul versus the ego. And I think many of you, if not all of you, would agree that you have both of these. And you can't have one without the other. So one is not bad and one is not good. Forget about the good and bad. Just everything just is. Like the force in Star Wars. The force just is. Frequency. Magnetic energy and electromagnetic energy. It's just energy. What you do with it, then you can start to attach your labels. And these are labels. The soul versus the ego. So let's get into that. And here it is. Broken down with numerology and a secondary source called the tarot because we think in pictures. So we want to get a photograph, some kind of symbolism beyond the numbers and words that we use to speak our magic spells. And you'll notice that the soul is a number 19 matching the 19th card in the tarot called the sun. And spirit, of course, is a 19 as well. There it is. Spirit is 19, soul is 19. So there's no difference, there's no separation. So those of you that think, oh, well, it's my spirit, it's my soul, well, it's your sun. The sun is your boss. That's the light inside of you. Some people think you, you know, I'm a light worker. Well, here you go. This is what it means to be a light worker. You're a sun worker. You are pledging to the sun. Your soul is the 19 and your adversary as you play out your avatar down here on earth through your zodiac sign and all the planets that you know make up your natal chart is the ego the ego and it's tied to the number 15 and of course how very fitting that the 15th card in the tarot to get the symbolism again it's the devil so we need to detach from the devil right these chains take them off these are all tied to addictions and this is what runs this reality. So in essence, yes, the devil does run the so below, but what runs the so below? It's the as above. So it's the sun devil, which is what the topic of this presentation is. And you must tame the devil. So the devil's dark, the light, the, the soul is light, of course. So when you get into the breakdown of the spirit and the ego, which again, I'll re gently remind all of you, can't have one without the other. Without an ego, you have no identity. The ego is the identity. <clears throat> Can I see your ID, please? Let's see your ID. What's your ID? That's your ego. And we all have one. And it's impossible not to have one. So spirit and soul are both 19. No separation. Of course, they both start with the letter S, as in sun. Kind of fitting, right? Sun, spirit, soul, all starting with the letter S, sine wave. It's all S. And it's the number 19 versus the 15. And what's really fascinating about this is when we add the two up, get out your calculators and add up the number 19 and 15. And what you're going to come up with is the number 34. All of you will. There will be no exclusions from that. All of us will get the number 34 from pure mathematics. And then we bring it into the string of pi, which I've been showing over and over. The string of pi is the makeup of our three-dimensional reality. Pi is 3.14. We live in the three-dimensional space inside the cube. And we are giving off our emotions through our identity, through our spirit, as we move through this game called life. So here it is. Where is that number 34 located? in the string of pi? Well, it occupies 
digit number 88. 34 and 35, which of course is 69, which is the yin yang. But it's the number 80 freaking eight. And that's tied to the Egyptian god Ra. Because the 80, well, again, we're bringing alchemy into this. We're marrying all these layers to give us a broader scope of what this code really tells us. And clearly you can see adding up your spirit and ego, tying it into the string of pi using pure mathematics, then bringing an alchemy layer into this, we end up landing on the 80th element called radium, which is Ra's element. How very fitting. And Ra is the sun god. So what do you think runs the soul below? It's the as above, which is the sun. Ra, that runs you. A little voice in your head, Ra. That's a big part of it anyway. So we know the soul, many of you know this, is it's your battery. And you are a little battery that feeds the big battery. And the big battery is the sun. And what the soul is, is it's forming a circuit with the sun. So essentially all of us coming together, our energy is fed by the sun and feeds the sun. So it's, it's a win-win for both of us. It's a give and take kind of energy. And we all are part of the collective battery. We are cells, essentially. If you take a battery in your car, under your hood, inside that battery are cells. Without the cells, there is no battery working. There is no starting of the car. Same thing with the game of life. The game of life needs players. We are all souls inside the avatar, which is called the ego, and it the soul is a battery, or the spirit is a battery. So going further, now we add in another layer called the cards of illumination, which I showed in the very beginning. 52 cards matching the 52 weeks, which is a solar lunar year, bringing in the moon as well, which I showed in the beginning using the 12 zodiac signs. But notice that the number 19, and most of you should know this now, is in that loop, the 19, 37, 46. But the 19 is occupying two digits in the string of pi, the 37 and the number 38. And we clearly now have another layer giving us the Jack and Jill, the Jack diamonds and the Queen diamonds, Lucy in the sky with diamonds. It's the Jack and the Queen. And there are more pieces to the story, but this clearly gives you an indication. If you haven't seen my decode on Jack and Jill decoded, I'd highly suggest you check that out because that'll give you a further um, indication of how our realities are run through our avatars, the Jack and the Jill. And really it's all about our identity, our ego, because, you know, I go back up here and we have the spirit, the sun and the ego, the devil. And that's why I have been saying, and I will continue to say, we are the devil. You are Satan. You only have a short period of time because Satan only has a short period of time. We are the devils down here. We are the manifestations of the sun. We are the sun devils. And it is the ego that runs your identity, part of the little voice in your head. And when you study the word ego, it starts with the letter E. And the letter E through the etymology and the breakdown from what I've gathered and researched, you can do your own research. Don't take my word for it. But here it is through the Phoenician and Sumerian going all the way up and all the way back to ancient Egypt. And there is the hieroglyph of the man. This is what it means. The letter E is man. We are the man. That's why the pentagram is tied to mankind. If you take your arms and legs and spread them out with your head, you end up forming five points, which is the ego. Notice that the word name equals 15, a direct match to the word ego tied to the devil card. So you can clearly see folks and only using the Chaldean that we are the devil down here and we end up forming addictions. We end up conforming to them and we end up making those chains a lot tighter and we become part of this blockchain which is kind of funny is where crypto gets into play. But nonetheless, it's for a different story. But the letter E is the fifth letter. And when they say, hey, can I see your ID? It's the number five. So now we bring in the English. There is no separation. The Chaldean, the English, all the same. You just got to know how to find it. And then bringing in a separate but very necessary component. It is the tarot once again. And then when they say the tarot's from the devil, oh, it most certainly is because we are the devil. 
and it's from mankind. Man created the tarot, just like man created numbers. Man created alchemy and found the sciences, but it's through the boss that is running mankind. And this is the fifth card right here called the Hierophant. This is the Pope, the dictator, if you've been following this great research. And in astrology, the fifth house is lorded over by the freaking sun. In the Chinese, well, it's the dragon, the most revered animal in all of Chinese culture. So you have, how, listen, folks, you got the dragon and you got the sun. So which one is it? What do you think the dragon is? Well, it's the freaking sun. And it runs your fifth house. That's why the fifth house runs your throat chakra, how you speak your spells. How do you say your name? You're going to say your name using the number five, your throat chakra. The throat chakra is the fifth chakra where you do all, it's, it's where you do speak all your spells. So when they say, hey, how do you say your name? I'm now asking you through my number five chakra, through my number five card, using the sun, using the dragon. Here's the dragon wave. The great dragon was hurled down. Yeah, it's called the devil for a reason because we are the devil. And it is all found from the ego. There is no separation, none, zilcho zero. So going further in all this, ladies and gentlemen, we now have the word architect. Architect, because that's what runs this reality, the architect. We're all architects, mini architects, but the architect that runs us is going to be this right here. And tied to the number 33 and the number 34. The number 28. And I have a very specific reason why I have the 28 there. And let me show you because it's tied to Lucifer, the light bringer. What's the sun? The sun delivers light, the light bringer. No brainer there. What comes up in the morning? The morning star, the light bringer, Lucifer. You can't screw this up, really. I don't know where people are getting their minds fixated on Venus, but I, I can tell you that is, is watered down. Lucifer is Venus through the constellations, but the true essence of the sun is Lucifer. And here's the phoenix. <laughs> the phoenix that rises, that is born again. The true essence and why the Christ was crucified at the age 33. This is the original spelling of the word phoenix now. The original, the etymology of where it came. A lot of our words came from the Greek. And there it is through the Homer expressions of the Greek. It's the number 30 freaking three. And there it is. You see, that's why the architect is the phoenix. The phoenix rises. The phoenix is born again. It rises from the ashes because when the game restarts over again, the game has a regeneration and the seed is planted. The seed rises. This is the Kundalini, of course, going up the spinal cord. It's all connected to the human being experience. The 33 tied to the word architect. And then we're going to bring in that number 34 as well. We're going to show you why that's so relevant, why I'm showing that because 28 occupies digit 33 and 34. So how about that, folks? You see, so that's why the architect is the phoenix. The phoenix is the architect and the sun, which is the architect, is Lucifer called the light bringer. And we're going to bring in the second topic now called the light bringer. So here we go. So Lucifer, through the Chaldean, this is the Latinized version of it. I'm going to be bringing in the original spelling because the original spelling is not Lucifer. This is a Latinized version of it. And the Latinized version of it is the number 28. The original spelling through the Hebrew is the number 39, but it's tied to the sun anyway. But Lucifer is the number 28, the architect tied to the sun, tied to the 33 and 34. So here's the connection now with the scripture in Genesis 1. So now we're going to get into theology. Those of you that like theology, I'm going to show you that the God of the Old Testament, the God of the New Testament would be tied to Lucifer. And I'm going to support that as I go through this presentation using real math, real numbers, numerology, pi, the golden ratio, the whole nine yards. And this is going to be something brand new that I have not yet brought into my decoding expressions. It is using the string of phi, the golden ratio. Instead of using pi, I'm now going to be introducing phi. Some of you may have been using this. I'm going to encourage all of you that are in the decoding world that use pi, I'm going to encourage you to use phi. 
And you'll notice that in Genesis 1 verses 3, one of the most famous revered scriptures in all of the biblical sense, the Old Testament now, Genesis meaning new beginnings, this is the scripture talking about let there be light. And when you say let there be light, you must use the letters of the alphabet. The total letters of the alphabet is the number 103 in the Chaldean. Just drop that zero. Now you have the 13, the one and three, and there it is. Let there be light. Because we're using the magic of speaking spells. And there it is. And the connection to Lucifer is right here through the golden ratio because you know what is the sun folks the sun is freaking gold that's not a secret that is a fact it's not an opinion that is a fact the sun is gold the gold is sun that's why money and fiat currency was always backed up by gold because it's backed up by the sun and the sun's the boss in the golden ratio the number 28 with a match to lucifer in the chaldean appears at the 51st and 52nd digit occupies both of those if you get out your calculators and you add 51 and 52 you're going to get the number 103 let there be light so now we know it's not venus folks lucifer is not venus not directly indirectly yes not directly lucifer the light bringer is from the sun and it's tied to the number 19, which is your soul and your spirit. This is what runs you along with your identity. Be the best little devil you can be. It's right there through the golden ratio. The sun is golden. Here is the original spelling through the Hebrew of this famous scripture of let there be light. Now, let me digress and show you that. Here it is. If you go to Bible Hub and you go to the Hebrew, there it is, let there be light. It's these two words right there. And when you break those down, here it is. And this is where you know this is directly tied to the narrative because there's the 52 matching the 52, matching the 28 in the string of the golden ratio and the sun is gold so let there be light light is gold gold is lucifer because lucifer is the sun and lucifer is the light bringer and this is now showing you the narrative the true narrative of how all this code is fixed and scripted beyond the scope of man man never coded this and never could code anything like this let's give credit where credit's due it's something beyond our physical reality and this is just us defining it but really there's something beyond this there are pieces that we just don't see but this is a really good start and you can see that 27 is currency 27 is currency tied to the word light light is currency 27 27 is tied to 58 which is puppet master so now we get into the prime numbers of the soul and the ego we're still talking the, the, the spirit and soul versus the ego. So we have the soul here, or the spirit, they're both 19, tied to the sun card. We know that our soul and spirit is from the sun. And we go into pure mathematics now, pure mathematics. And we realize that the number 67 is the 19th prime number. 19th prime number. And it's tied to this element right here, I call it Santa's element. It's the ho, ho, ho element. It's Holmium. Tied to Bethlehem if you've been following and paying attention. And we're going to get into this hot and heavy. Now, what's really interesting is when we bring in the string of pi and the number 28, you see the number 28, as I showed earlier, linking to the word architect and Lucifer, it occupies two digits. Digit number 33 and digit number 34. And if you get out your calculators and do some simple math. If you add 33 and 34, what are you going to get? You're going to get the, every one of you, there's going to get the number 67. So we now know through the string of pi, which runs this three dimensional space, because it's the emotions we're giving off along with phi, is tied to the number 28. 67 is tied to the number 28. What is the number 28? 
It's Lucifer. It's the architect. It's let there be light. And there was light. It's, it's all right there. You can't miss this. You can't screw this up. We now have created a standard in this reality, following theology, following numerology, following the tarot, following pure mathematics. It's all connected. There's no separation. And of course, 52 is prison planet. Let there be light. The light is in this planet. 67 is holmium. Noticing this has an atomic weight of 164. It's the hierarchy of the 64. 64 is gadolinium, which is tied to our DNA. 64 possible chronons in our DNA. The 164 rules the 64. That's how this works. And it's the 19th prime number. 19. 19. It's the sun devil, folks. Can't screw this up. What about the number 15 tied to the ego? We just went over the spirit slash soul. What about the number 15? Well, here's the prime number for the number 15. It's the 47. The 47 is the 15th prime number. And 47 is tied to the Tetragrammaton, which is the ancient Israelite God of the Holy Bible. The Tetragrammaton meaning four, meaning the cube, meaning the box. Tied to the element silver. Tied to the days of creation, one through six. Tied to the I am with the 95. But it's clear right there that the ego, the identity that we all have, guess what runs that? Take a wild guess what runs that. So you just got to follow your script. So you got Lucifer and the devil, the Tetragrammaton, the yod heh all connected. So now you know. There's no more secrets, folks. No more secrets when you look at these layers like this. So let's bring them together. So we have the prime of the spirit or soul and the ego, the 19 and the 15. We have holmium and we have silver. And when we take these two elements and we do the alchemy of them, Using the trusty calculator in the very middle, here's the number that we get, 271.835. Of course, 271 is a number anagram of the 127, which is the 31st prime number, which is going to link to 3.14 pi, which is what we're all living inside, the perfect circle. Now, what about that 271? Well, we go to the prime numbers, and this is a big one. This was a big find. This is a big gem. Just to clarify it again, and if you go and study Manly P. Hall, Secret Teachings of All Ages, in his book, he'll tell you Lucifer is known as the number 741. It's right there. You, you can't mistake this now. We now know, it's very crystal clear, that Lucifer is, without a shadow of a doubt, 1,000% the sun the light bringer, not Venus, the sun. There is the connection. 271, 1741, 271st prime. It's right there when you add up the sun and the ego. So yeah, Lucifer is the devil for sure, but it's your identity. We're the devil. We become the devil when we incarnate and we choose our avatars, however that selection process happens, and just be the best little devil you can be. And there's the connection. Using pure mathematics, not fudging anything, not using any kind of other ciphers. This is pure math and true alchemy, true science and pure mathematics right there based upon the soul and the ego slash spirit. So if we go a little bit further, what about that 271? Well, it's the 58th prime number. And of course, most of you should know that the 58 is the puppet master. <coughs> Excuse me. The puppet master equals 58, matching this very big axiom as above, so below. As above, so below. The 58th element being cerium, there is the tie-in to being trapped and limited into Pi. Uh, most of you know that follow my work. My last name is Payette. This is my birth card. This is why I was able to show this to all of you, why I found this, why I was gifted to show this to all of you is because of these links to my own personal life. It's because I'm tied to this. My last name is Payette. This is 3.141. It's right there. 58's Puppet Master, as above, so below. What do you think's running you, ladies and gentlemen? The little voice in your head. 
and it's tied to this number 271 found from the soul and the spirit found from the 67 and 47 which are the primes for the ego and the spirit 19 and 15 just using the chaldean now not dictating not deviating away from it using pure math using multiple layers and showing you that it's tied to the puppet master the as above is the sun and the so below is the devil and that's us right there and we're trapped and limited in this reality because you know you ain't going anywhere until you die so going further what if you take the 271 and you add up the 835 found from holmium and silver found from soul and ego well there it is 271 plus 835 is going to give you 1,106, and there's a number anagram of the golden ratio. And I already showed the golden ratio tied to Lucifer and the numbers 51 and 52, and let there be light. It's all right there, folks. All of it, there's no separation. Using pure math, pure math, and then the symbolism to give us the pictures, because we think in pictures, of what the sun and devil looks like the sun devil the soul and the spirit the soul and the ego which is what we all have now this was absolutely fascinating right here if you're a science buff like me you see these two elements on the periodic table that make up the sun slash soul slash spirit and the ego slash devil the sun devil it's holmium 67 which is the 19th prime number and then silver which is the 15th prime number through the 47. look at this right here folks this is real factual stuff now getting more into real science holmium has the highest magnetic permeability of any element and is thus used for the pole pieces of the strongest static magnets and then silver has the highest electrical conductivity so you have magnetic and electric and that is what the, the, the out of the three magnetic electric and dielectric and now we get into physics real physics now so forget about theories and ancient text and you know what we we're told on sunday or saturday or who what sermon or preacher or rabbi forget all that now we get into real science that can be proven through numbers and equations and we now get into the field variations. And I could go way off on this. Ken Wheeler does a way better job than I do if you're a fan of Ken Wheeler stuff. But we have the makeup of our reality. And we have polarization. See, we get polarized here on Earth. And we have the positive and negative inside of us. We get polarized. And the sun and moon contribute to that. And there's so much that can go into this. But it's tied, of course, to the apple being in the center. That's the earth, folks. And it's tied to physics. It's tied to electric and magnetic. And then we get into Ohm's law, voltage, currency, and resistance. Real science. And this is how our reality works right here. Magnetism and electricity and dielectricity and there is the key telling you and knowing that you know the dielectric we are polarized in the dielectric we are polarized in pi 3.14 and then we have the elohim the yod -Heh -Vah -Heh, the 26 the god magnetic electric l and mag mag is 3.14 l is the 53 iodine and you just keep going and going and going going and going and going with this where does this 83 lead us ladies and gentlemen well you go back to my decode on prison planet and here it is the very first prison planet decoded that i came out with i showed nature's trinity right here i showed the loop that we're all stuck in the sun, the earth, and the moon. And it's tied to this element right here called bismuth. It's tied to potassium. It's tied to selenium. And it's tied to molybdenum. And it's tied to this bismuth element right here. 
and tied to the number 208 when you add up all three of these and it ends up becoming the number 83 which is the i am and you should go watch this if you don't believe me this is real science tied to real theories which are now factual to me showing you the time loop that we're all stuck in this is the pyramid right here and it's tied to magnetic electric and dielectric it's right there you cannot miss this tied to ohm's law and what's absolutely fascinating and here's the guy who discovered the ohm's law it's george simon ohm and this is where it just gets comical and you realize people's lives are being used it's just the way it is that's why you got to figure out what your code is become the best little devil you can be down here of course this guy being born on the march 16th here is the birth card and if you're wondering how i got that 16 of march here's the birth cards right here here's march here's the 16th the seven of diamonds just so you know being very transparent and then he died on July 6th. Here's the July 6th card, the nine diamonds, both diamonds, of course. If you take the seven and nine and bring them together, what are you gonna get? You're gonna get gold. And you're gonna go right back to that voltage, resistance and currency, the Ohm's law. Cause it's all about lead to gold folks. And how very fitting that the guy who discovered Ohm's law and discovered this whole entire process, probably didn't even know that it was tied to this magnetic, electric, and dielectric, but it's right there, tied to the pentagram, tied to mankind, because we are the number five, as I've been showing, inside this womb, inside earth, we are the number five, which is the ego and the identity, the boss is our, the sun is our boss, it's crystal clear, what's giving off the voltage, the currency, and the resistance, we provide the resistance through the polarization, right here you you can't miss this and here's the website if you want to take a look and read a little bit more about what this all means if you're a science buff like myself and the electric field variations the magnetic field variations making those sine and cosine waves through the string of pi it's all there ladies and gentlemen this is real deal stuff this is not trying to fudge anything this is not my opinion these are scientific or factual things i'm showing you now Okay, so now we're going to get into the topic lead to gold. And this is what it's all about because we're being used in mind for our energetic currency. It's where the Anunnaki, or if you're a fan of the Anunnaki's, and you get the, you know, what, what, what were human beings created for to be slaves to mine the gold? Well, the gold is just our emotions. And we now know that we can scrape away all the stories. Forget all the stories. Let's go with what we know. We can, we can, we can test these in a laboratory the alchemy and we know the string of pi through pure mathematics and whether you're a fan of numerology or not you can clearly see now through multiple expressions that this is the real deal this is this is really how it works the chaldean is the closest to the source that you can get because it num works off the numbers one through eight and of course eight is the infinity symbol so we have the 19 and the 15 adding up to the number 34 and this is where we get into the scripture in the Old Testament. The only scripture now, the only one that talks about Lucifer. And it's not even Lucifer. This is the Latinized version of it. I'm going to be showing you the original spelling, which is hell. H-Y is pronounced Halel. But let me show you what this scripture means. So it says, how art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer? son of the morning and i don't know where people get the interpretation of it being venus because clearly the star that rises in the morning is the sun but and it says how art thou cut down to the ground which weaken the nations what weakens us as human beings the sun does if you go outside during the hot summer months it's gonna tear you down gives you sunburn it makes you start to sweat, which makes you dehydrate. And it also has radiation in it. The sun rays, you have gamma, infrared. We're going to get into that in a minute here. But here is the tie-in because you see, folks, this is how I broke it down. And I realized this was the truth staring me in the face. And I'm going to share it with all of you. It says that Lucifer is the sun of the morning. What is another name for morning? 
It's called dawn. The dawn is the morning time. Well, here is the dawn. It's radon. And radon is a byproduct of radium. So it starts with the sun. And as the sun rays enter into earth, they weaken. The sun itself is the source. And when it sheds its light to earth, the rays are weakened. But it causes radiation which can give you cancer. You can get cancer from that. But this is the sun of the morning, radon. And you see, when you add up the 19 and 15, you're gonna get the number 34. Look at what the number 34 appears in the string of pi. The freaking 86. 86 and 87 said, then you'd bring in francium, which is a byproduct of radium. But radon, dawn is the morning, sun of the morning, Lucifer. Radon, 222. And if you know what the 222 means, you have more keys to the kingdom. Of course, it's tied to the second house of astrology, which is where you're going to get Venus because the second house of astrology is Taurus the bull. Now we get into the bull god. The bull god's 28, bullseye's 28, Lucifer's 28, and then Venus rules over Taurus. And that's where you're going to get your connection. But it's from the sun. That's what weakens the nations. And here it is. It's the electromagnetic radiation. And here are the types. Think about what I'm showing you. Electromagnetic. Then you go right back up here. And you have electro and magnetic. Holmium and silver. Electromagnetic. Right there. You can't miss this. And here are the types of electromagnetic radiation. Gamma, X-ray, ultraviolet, visible, infrared, microwave, radio. Electromagnetic radiation. And there is the breakdown through numerology to give us a bigger clue. It equals the number 179. The 179 is tied to the number 72 on the periodic table. It's named hafnium, cut in half. And the half is half angels and half demons. If you study the origination of the Society of Jesus, it'll tell you that they brought you to a retreat and they will tell you that the angels and demons rule over you. Angels and demons are tied to the hafnium. Why hafnium? Because there's 72 angels and demons. It's in the text. Go read it. Hafnium. Half angels, half demons, half and half, stuck in the light spectrum. And this is where you're going to get the weakening of the nations. So we have electromagnetic radiation. Radiation weakens us. Light weakens us. So we have the angels that cause perhaps the positive side, the photosynthesis, but the demons which cause the breakdown through the light. Something to that effect. But there it is. So now you know. And here's the DK chain. Just to show you what I'm talking about and how we are all little devils down here. We're all little sun devils. So we have the starting point of radium. Right here. Ra, the sun god. And it start, here's the decay chain. So these elements all decay. So if you, got, if you know your science, the basic fundamentals, these elements through time, they decay, just like we do. Through, you, you come into this world as a baby, and then you turn into your prime self, and then you decay into a senior citizen until you finally die and leave your avatar. It, these elements work the same way. So here is the 88th element tied to Lucifer. Radium, raw. And here it is, and it decays all the way down to lead. It ends up being the element lead. And here's where we get lead to gold. The alchemical process. And what is gold? The sun. We are the devil down here in Wonderland. And we are being mined for our energetic gold, which goes back to the sun. One interesting notation is this element Ra 
radium, the average is 226, the isotope. Well, the half-life, if you don't know what half-lives are, please go pause this and go read about what a half-life of an element is. The half-life, meaning half of it is going to decay in 1600 years. Why I'm pointing this out is because of the significance of these two archetypes on the world stage right here. And if you think this is a coincidence, you're in the wrong channel to listen to for decoding the esoteric. You see, the most abundant collector of artificial intelligence is Google. Google's address is 1600 Amphitheater Parkway Mountain in California. The supposed strongest government on the world stage today is called the White House in Washington, D.C. And what is their address? 1600 Pennsylvania. Now, do you think that this is a coincidence right here? And if you think it's a coincidence, folks, you're at the wrong channel. You're listening to the wrong esoteric decodes. This is not the channel for you. This is not a coincidence. Tied to the decay rate of radium. Ra, the sun god. Right there. Radium decays the half-life 1,600 years. This is not a coincidence. Look at where the number 1,600 appears in the string of pi. 22,222. 22,222. See all those twos? where it decay or is found in the string of pi. And then you go right back to radon 222. It's tied to radium, which is tied to uranium. Uranium is the highest level. We can get into a different topic on that because it's uranium is the starting point, but there it is. So what do you think runs the governments? What do you think is collecting all the data for Google? If you take the number 88, and you add, this is another layer of decoding. Some of you that don't haven't noticed this, if you're a decoder and you use the elements on the periodic table, if you take the protons of the element and you add it up with the actual isotope, the weight of these elements, you're going to get a very important number for a lot of these elements. And here it is. When you add up the 88 plus the weight of this isotope, radium 226, you will get 3.14, you'll get 314, which is pi. So it's telling you loud and clear what's running this reality. It's the sun devil. What runs Google? It's the sun devil. And what runs the White House? It's the sun devil. It's clear as day, which is, of course, through Taurus, which is, of course, through Venus, which is, of course, through Lucifer. The Tetragrammaton, the Christ, they're all fitting. They all fit in here. Yaldabaoth, they all fit in here. I could have, folks, there's just so many slides I can show all of you. I'm showing you the major ones. Could have added Yaldabaoth, could have added the Christ in here. They're all fitting here. They're all getting the energy. I mean, there it is. Google is 28. Lucifer is 28. Architect is 28. It's, it's right there. And what is the 28 tied to? 33 and 34. What is 33 and 34? It's our spinal cord. Some of you have 33 vertebrae. Some of you have 34. It's tied to the number 28. Tied to the Google. So folks, what are we doing as we enter into the artificial intelligence realm? Well, they're moving it towards transhumanism. Whether you like that or not is besides the point, but that's the agenda is to move it into transhumanism. And I thought this was very fitting right here, and I wanted to take the time to narrate this for you, so please pay attention. This is completely theoretical. This is based on, of course, the Shemitah years of this year, 5,782 on the Hebrew calendar, moving into next year, 5,783, which is the 759th prime number. This Shemitah year is the Golden Jubilee year, and it is the year of the harvest, the great harvest. Is this talking about what the Bible mentions and talks about the rapture? The rapture equals 28, direct match to Lucifer equal 28. Matching nickel, nickel's the sun, devil's copper. But I thought this was very interesting because the boiling point of lead, the remember, we're talking lead to gold now. We are lead. 
All of us are lead. Being mined, it's lead to gold. Being mined for our energetic gold. What's next year on the calendar that's coming up for those of us that use the Gregorian calendar? Well, it's this year right here. And, you know, this is the Kelvin, measured in Kelvin. This is the sun's temperature. Kelvin. 2022 is the boiling point. Is this talking about the ascension process for that story? Maybe. Can't rule it out. I thought it was really interesting. Even the word Helios, the original Greek spelling of the sun is the number 71. And here is the original spelling of the word rapture in the Greek, which means to grab. It's the number 71. How about that? So we have the Greek spelling of Helios and the Greek spelling of rapture, both equaling 71. And then we have the rapture and Lucifer, both equaling the number 28. What do you think the odds would be? that this would be the case. And then you have this having a 2022 boiling point and perhaps being the ascension process, turning lead into gold. Here is, I mean, 71, Lutetium. You can't make this up. Lu, Lucifer, Lutetium. There it is, the number 174. The numbers that Manny P. Hall talks about in his secret teachings of all ages, the number of Lucifer is 741. It's clearly right there. Tied to Helios, we know that Lucifer is not Venus. It is the sun. It's the sun. That's the devil, the sun devil. So let's get into Helios. Let's get into Helios. Where the sun got its name from. And... Again, showing you this with Ra. Helios and Ra, one and the same. Well, you got to be the judge of that. But again, 19 plus 15 is 34. And there's the tie into the number 88 through the string of pi. And there is that number 88. Remember, Google and the White House tied right to that through the 1600. And obviously done on purpose. Mankind is being used. Consciously, they may have chosen that because they know that raw runs the, sh the show down here but you know but but clearly the string of pie has something to say about that as well and then we get into the golden ratio i told you i'd be bringing the golden ratio into this here's another example just to solidify that the pure mathematics speak their story and their story to me speaks the truth of this reality being absolutely scripted Beyond the control of man, we are living in a script, just living out the script. And here's a perfect example. This is, again, new decoding that I'm bringing in. I showed earlier on the 51 and 52 tied to Lucifer, the number 28. But how about that 34, which is found from 19 and 15, which equals 34, the spirit and the ego, the sun devil. Where, where does it appear in the golden ratio in the decimal digits of phi? Well, there it is. It occupies digits 26 and 27. What is 26? Well, it's the ancient Israelite God of the Bible, the yod heh vah -Heh. The original spelling is 26. 27 is currency. So is the yod heh vah -Heh the boss? Is it the sun and the devil? Is it the sun devil? And is it Lucifer? Well, it appears that's the way the connection is telling us through real math, using the original, not using any other cipher. This is the original spelling of this word of where it came from undeniable and if you add up 26 and 27 you're going to get the number 53 which is one half of the i am that i am remember yeshua is the number 53 through the original spelling as well there's no separation folks it's all the same and so here is the helios as I showed just a minute ago, Helios in the original, this is the Homer in Greek, the Homer Greek, if you study this, there's several ways to spell this, but if you match it up directly with the English, Helios through the Greek is the number 71. It also reduces down to the number 26. If you go all the way down and reduce those numbers down, you're gonna get the number 26. And at 26, you go right back to the yod heh -Vah -Heh. So we know the yod heh -Vah -Heh, tied to the sun, it's all sun worship. Ladies and gentlemen, all of it. It's all sun worship, okay? It's all sun worship, and we have Helios now telling us the story. The 71, of course, again, remember that the 71 is tied to this right here called Lutetium, Lucifer. 
And it's the sun god. And there it is through the string of pi. Just to solidify this once again, in case you weren't convinced, but the 71 in the string of pi occupies digits 39 and 40. And if you get out your calculators and add up 39 and 40, this is the number you're going to get 79, which is gold. And what is gold? It's the sun. You can't mess this up. Helios is Lucifer, which is the yod heh which is gold, turning lead into gold. And here is the tie-in to the original spelling in the Aramaic, where Lucifer is mentioned in the book of Isaiah 14, verses 12, the only scripture in the entire Old and New Testament that mentions Lucifer being weakening the nations. And I showed the radiation. That's what the sun is all about. But there it is. This is the original spelling. Forget about Lucifer. This is Halil. The pronunciation is Halil or Hell. Very fitting. H-Y-L-L. -L. It's the number 39. Here's the tie-in to prove without a shadow of a doubt what the sun is. It's the 19th element called potassium, which is the sun. And there is the tie-in right there in the string of pi. It's also linked to 18 in the moon as well. But there it is, because argon has an atomic weight of 39. But there it is, and it is the sun. And Helios is the sun. This is the tie-ins, ladies and gentlemen. And we know that here's the complete reduction down through the Greek. As I mentioned, it was the 26. Well, what is the sun? The sun's radiation. There it is. And it's the yod heh vah -Heh. yod heh vah -Heh is 26. Helios is 26. Radiation, which weakens the nations, which is Lucifer all 26 which is the number eight of course the number eight i just want to show you this if you go to the number empire.com and you type in the number 19 you're going to see that it's the eighth prime number the eighth prime number 19 is the sun what is two plus six eight radiation is eight helios is eight 19 is tied to the number 8. 19 is the sun card. Undeniable, folks. Now you see. There's no separation. So we need to, if it's a duck, we call it a duck. Quack. And there's the combination and the connection right there. So if we show a little bit more uh, of the card, if we show a little bit more layers, now we get into the cards of illumination and tying into the spirit slash soul which is the sun the six clubs is the 19th card in the deck the two clubs is the 15th card in the deck now we have the 62 or the 26 we go right back up and there is the number 62 and 26 mirror or not it's radiation and helios found from the two cards from the spirit and the ego our ego is from the sun. We are the sun devils, ladies and gentlemen. Be the best little devil you can be down here. When you go further with the cards of illumination, just to kind of put a nail in the coffin in all this, is we have the 19 representing the spirit and the six clubs. Six clubs in the tarot becomes the six of wands, card 28. And this card means victory. Of course, the sun is victory. And then we have the ego card, the two clubs being the 15th card. And that goes into the two of wands. And of course, you know, this card means planning. What would, you, what would your ego be doing when you incarnate from the sun? What would your ego be doing? Well, you'd be doing this. You'd be planning what you're going to do on the world stage. How very fitting. And of course, the two wands are the two pillars representing, you know, the good cop, bad cop. The yin yang, the whole nine yards, and of course the world being in the palm of your hands. This is what you'd be. This card means planning. You're planning out what you got to do because you came down here from the sun, and the sun's going to be victorious in its planning, and the snake eats its tail because the sun goes around in a circle. And I thought this was very fitting. You see, here's the connection of the church and the Christ. This is the original spelling of the Christ, by the way. The Christ didn't come on the scene until the New Testament. I believe anyway. And uh, here's the original spelling of it in the Greek. It's a 24 matching the letter X, which is our X chromosomes tied to the four faces of God, which are on the, the card of the wheel of fortune in Saturn and all that kind of stuff. But make no mistake about it. Jesus talks about sending the angel 
to tell the church what's going on and there's the direct match right there and of course you know telling the church you better start planning what you're going to do down here in wonderland absolutely because you got to use your ego when you do that and you can clearly see folks there is no separation going a step further we're going to bring in the elements on the periodic table if you weren't convinced then i mean i'm gonna i'm gonna show you some more information but here it is the six of wands being the 28th card is tied to this element called nickel and we know nickel is if you remember it's called devil's copper it's the sun devil okay it's right there you can't mistake it and the 24th element tied to the 24th card tied to the ego found from the two of clubs is chromium and what does chromium mean chromium it comes from the word chroma so when we go to the periodic table and we look at that we can clearly see that the element chromium is derived from the greek word chroma and it means color think about what i'm showing you now the ego is from chroma meaning color and what comes from the sun light what does the light spectrum contain color and the color as it incarnates into mankind and forms a physical body called your avatar which is your ego and your identity needs to start planning out its life purpose and there is the beauty in the tarot cards found from the cards of illumination found from numerology undeniable when we add them up when we add up and alchemize nickel and chromium found from the six of wands and two of wands and the 26 and radiation going to the central point here going to the trusty calculator and adding those up the number you get is 110.689 going to the string of pi just to solidify it to prove without an absolute doubt in your mind of what the sun devil is there is the tie-in once again to that number 71 the 110 appears at the 174th decimal digit the element that contains the 174 is lutetium that's lucifer that's the 71 and there is once again the tie-in to the greek spelling the original now of the title helios so we are the identity of the sun we are owned by the sun we are operated by the sun we are owned and operated by lucifer end of story if you don't want to believe in this kind of stuff again you may be in the wrong channel if you're still stuck on kind of you know what you were programmed with that, that stuff needs to come undone as long as you you know are resonating with this information this is pure math connecting all the dots showing you the truth through real math and real numbers and real mystical art layers real spellings of things real mathematics you can see the manly p hall the number of lucifer 741 it's right there and it's found from these two elements found from these two cards and you can see the narration you can see the narration and the 62 tied to radiation tied to helios to the full reduction you can't miss this folks pure pure narrative coming at you so now you know we're light beings slow down into physical matter from the sun the sun runs us the sun is victory and the sun is the phoenix the sun is helios the sun is lucifer i think this is my last slide this is my last slide and obviously again the spirit the soul is 19. the 19th element is potassium potassium's average weight is 39. 39 is tied to this element yttrium which is 88 and lucifer in the original spelling in the aramaic again is the 39 you can see it you can't miss this 88 miles an hour time travel folks this is all legit right here these connections that are absolutely undeniable and when you look at the number 19 tied to the word battery tied to spirit tied to soul you realize that it's the eighth prime number as i showed and here is a picture of the definition of this right here is called the analema 
which is the sun's pattern that it makes. It makes this figure eight pattern through the sky as it moves through the Tropic of Cancer and Tropic of Capricorn, making that drying, that dragon sign and cosine wave. This is the real natured pattern now. This is why the number eight is tied to the number 19. Why the 19th card in the tarot is the sun. Because they know. They knew what was up. They synchronized this properly. Because mankind's being used on top of that. So your mind is not your own. Your mind is of the sun. That's the boss. And it is Lucifer 1000%. There is no fudging on this. And you can get into the sine and cosine waves as well. And if you want to have fun with that, you can add those up. But clearly you can see that the sine and cosine waves, if you add these up, folks, you're going to get, I put these in here. If those of you that are curious, go pull up this copy and paste those into your Dramatronator and get those downloads and see what you come up with. But the signing, let me zoom in. Let me show you the sine and cosine waves. The first number of the number 19 is the number one and nine. It's, it's just right there past the decimal point. You can't miss this. It's right there, folks. Clearly, it's very obvious what the spirit is, what the ego is. And that's why we're tied to the number eight. What's the eighth zodiac sign? Scorpio. Scorpio is our spinal cords tied to the number 33. 33 brought together is the number eight. That's why the sun is tied to the number 33. Why the masons are tying it to the number 33. It's all tied to the sun, which is the tetragrammaton, the yod heh vah -Heh, Lucifer, Jesus. They're all wrapped up in this. Y Yaldabaoth, all of them. But make no mistake about it, ladies and gentlemen, there is the definitive on what the sun is, the light bringer. It's Lucifer. So let's get into my last topic now. I thought I actually, that was my finish of it, but let's get into my last topic now called the sun and shield. We're going to get into some theology to end this presentation. If you weren't blown away then, here's some more information for you. So again, it's some, the some theology to show you what, you know, this is all about. Here's one scripture talking about God being the sun and shield. Go, go research this. If you're a fan of theology, if you're not, if you don't think that the sun is Lucifer, well, I, I get, you may be stuck in your program beliefs. God of the Bible is Lucifer as well as the Tetragrammaton, the yod heh no separation. But there it is, 84 verses 11. The Lord God is a sun and shield. You can say Jehovah or yod heh vah -Heh, But it's a sun and shield telling you. So if you want to put yod heh vah here, that's totally fine. But it's telling you what it is. It's the sun and shield. And the sun, obviously, is the sun. And what's the shield? The moon. It's the moon. And it's 84 verses 11. What element has the atomic weight of 84? It's the 37th element, rubidium. And the, the 18th and 19th cards in the tarot is the sun and the moon. And if you take 18 and 19 and add it up, what number are you going to get? 37. So this is the shield. The Lord God is the sun and the moon. God of the Bible, sun and moon. Right there. Can't miss it. And it's the recycle process. 19, 37, 46. 19. 37, 46 is earth. Repeat. Lord God, sun and shield, earth. Incarnation, reincarnation. Here's the Ark of the Covenant. Without a shadow of a doubt, here's the Ark of the Covenant. Of course, the two angels, the two cherubims on top, the sun representing the sun and moon. Here it is. It's argon, the 18th element, and the sun, potassium. When you add up argon and potassium, 39.95 and 39.098, you're going to get the number gold. You're going to get the 196. I'm sorry, you're going to get the number 79. Excuse me. 39.9. What am I talking about? 196. You're going to get the number 79. 39.098, 39.95. You're going to get 79.048, I think it is. But it's 79. It's gold. And of course, it's the Ark of the Covenant. That's why it was made out of gold. There's your ark, A-R-K. You can't miss it. It's pretty undeniable. There's your sun and shield. If you take argon and potassium and you place them in the numerology cipher, you're going to get the number 55. 55. It's interesting because argon's 18. 18th card is the moon. 
Tied to, I mean, Jesus equals 18. That's why I have a feeling Jesus is more the moon, but make no mistake about it, it's 55. Argon and potassium, the Ark of the Covenant, the sun and shield, 55. Here is the original spelling of the word sun in Hebrew. That's a 55. The word predestination equals 55, of course, because the script is predestined. And here is the electric eye right here, the Royal Society of Chemistry with rubidium, this element tied to this electric eye. It's called the electric eye, and that's what these are. These, you know, uh, Santos refers to them as portals. Um, welcome to the machine. If you saw my decode on Pink Floyd, welcome to the machine. Uh, you know, it's the projector. And we know Saturn, Saturn has a big role in all this, folks, but there, there is the tie-ins for the Ark of the Covenant, Argon and Potassium. Clearly, you can see the connections there. And then to really kind of narrow all this down and to end this with a bang, this presentation, is you have this element right here. Ty, if you saw the uh, show Netflix called Dark, if you saw the show called Dark, what made time travel possible in the show Dark was this element, cesium right there cesium was what they put into the time machine to make time travel possible there it is the 55 132 and what is the 132 in the string of pi it's connected to the number 110 and what's 110 again it's helios it's the spirit and the ego which makes time travel possible time travel is of course the sun getting down to earth the sun rays the photosynthesis the incarnation reincarnation process the sunlight, the radiation, the decay of that, mankind turning into an avatar. It's its just all right there with the time travel and argon and the Ark of the Covenant, argon and potassium. It's just all right there and tied all directly from this scripture in the Old Testament, Psalms 84 verses 11. The Lord God is a sun and a shield. That sun and shield is the moon tied to the Helios, tied to our ego personalities, tied to Lucifer. Tied to Lucifer. And the last one, of course, uh, just to summarize that, here it is again, you know, the Ark of the Covenant. The Ark of the Covenant is the sun and moon. It's the sun and shield. It's the element rubidium. And remember what that 37 is tied to? 1937, 46. The loop that gets you stuck inside this reality that you may ever never get out of. I don't really know, but... The little eye that watches over you, that's these. They watch over you. They see every move. The eye in the sky looking at you, that's the portals above you, whatever they are, the sun and the moon. So there you have it, folks. The sun devil decoded. So what is it you saw during this presentation? I'm intrigued to hear what you saw. I, I gave you a lot of information. And I'm, I'm curious to see what you observe during this presentation beyond the scope of what I've presented to you. But I think that uh, I presented an overwhelming amount of information that emphatically has put Lucifer as the sun devil. We are the little devils down here and Lucifer is the sun. And that's why the sun may be on a timer, only have a short period of time. All those play a role in all this with the biblical sense and theology. So all part of the script, script and scripture and all that. But be curious to hear what you saw during this presentation. So a big shout out to all you great decoders, uh, all your support. I really appreciate each and every one of you, all your donations, your Patreons. Those of you that are looking to get a reading, just send me an email, decode your reading. I'm really backed up right now, but those of you that um, are uh, interested in the reading, just send me an email, decodeyourreality at gmail.com. But that's all I got for today, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Logan. This is Decode Your Reality. I thank each and every one of you. Till next time, we'll see you later.